Mats Madu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Uh, welcome uh, to us fives up for today's CRA lesson. I hope you are doing fine wherever you are. Now, today we are going to start on a new topic that is uh, living as a, a witness to uh, faith. Living as a witness to faith. Remember our last topic, uh, we were learning about uh, the expressing our faith, expressing our faith. And now we are going to continue looking at uh, how as a Christian, uh, we should uh, live uh, as a witness to the faith. Now, the first uh, subunit of the same is uh, mean, the meaning of a Christian witness. The meaning of a Christian witness. First of all, we start uh, with uh, the word Christian. This is a word that we have looked at so many times here in CRI. And I'm sure it has become uh, very common and uh, we can tell uh, what is the meaning of the word uh, Christian. So if somebody can try and tell us and we can uh, continue from there. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, can you try? Can you try? Mm -hmm. Very good. Another type of person who will agree or disagree with whatever we have been told. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh -huh. you agree with the same. So, a Christian, a Christian is a follower, is a follower of Jesus Christ. A Christian is a, a follower of Jesus Christ. So, for you to live, uh, live as a witness to the faith, you must be a follower of Jesus Christ. Now, who is the witness? Witness. Who is the witness? I don't know whether you have ever been called uh, to try and explain something that uh, happened uh, because you are there or you saw it uh, happen. Now, from there, we can get the meaning of a witness. Yes, somebody try and give us the meaning of uh, the word witness. Uh -huh, somebody at the back there. Yes, let us try, let us try. Uh -huh, very good, very good. Yes, uh, somebody else, somebody else who either agrees or disagreed, uh, disagrees with that uh, at the back there. Uh -huh, very good. So, a witness is a person. A witness is... A person, a person who tells, who tells the truth, tells the truth of what they have seen. It tells the truth of what they have seen. So you see something and tell what you have seen. So for you to be at witness, you must tell the truth. To be a witness means that you are a person who tells the truth of what you have seen or you have either seen or experienced. You have either seen or experienced. So, when you bring the two words together, a Christian witness, therefore, a Christian witness is a person who tells the truth about Jesus Christ. Therefore, a Christian a Christian witness, witness is a person who tells the truth, tells the truth about, a Christian witness is a person who tells the truth about Jesus Christ, the person who tells the truth about Jesus. Jesus Christ. And how do we tell the truth? For you to live as a Christian witness, how do you tell the truth? Now, this is done through through your deeds. Your deeds. Through your deeds. And what are deeds? These are actions. These are actions. The things that you do. The things that you do. And others are able to see through you that you are living as a true Christian witness. The things you do and also your words, how you speak to others, how you speak to others, just like Jesus was through his actions. He lived as a witness of 
God's work, how God wanted us to live through his words, his teaching. He, he, he taught people the ways of God. Now, in the Bible, in the book of uh, 1 John, 1 John chapter 1, verse 29 to 34, we read about this man called John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Now, John the Baptist was uh, the forerunner. He prepared, he prepared the way for Jesus Christ. And how did he prepare this way? He never walked along the way road and made it a tarmac road. No. He did certain things to prepare the people for the coming of Jesus Christ. Now, which are some of the things that he did? One is that he preached. He preached the word of God. So, by preaching the word of God, he was living as a true witness that Jesus was coming. And this word of God he was teaching about, he was teaching about Jesus, saying that there was somebody greater than him, greater than him, who was coming. He was a person, he was talking about a person who was greater than him, and this person was Jesus Christ. So one of the ways that Jesus, uh, that John the Baptist lived as a Christian witness, or a witness to Jesus Christ, was preaching the word of God and preaching specifically about uh, Jesus. Number two, he asked people, asked uh, people to repent, repent uh, their sins. He asked people to repent their sins so that they could be, they could prepare their hearts for the coming of Jesus Christ. Another, way, another thing that he did to prepare the way for Jesus Christ was baptizing. He baptized, he baptized people. He baptized people. And by baptizing them, that means they were able to repent of their sins and be in right with God. Now, in this book, that is the book of John, chapter 1, verse 29, up to verse 34, we are told them, uh, the next day, John saw Jesus coming uh, to him and said, There is the Lamb of God who takes uh, the sins of the world. Therefore, John was a witness of Jesus by calling him the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God who takes, takes away the sins of the world. So, John the Baptist was a witness that this man who is coming to be baptized is Jesus Christ himself, just as God had said that he will be the one coming. As we go on, we are told, and uh, John gave a testimony of what happened as he was baptizing Jesus. And what happened? We are told, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and stay on him. So John witnessed that this man he was baptizing was the one who had been prophesied about when he saw the Spirit of God. John saw the Spirit, saw the Spirit of God descend descend on Jesus in form of a dove. And this was the sign, this was the sign that had been given to him by God and he had been told that whoever the spirit descends on in form of a dove is the one who is the Messiah. So, for us to live as a Christian witness, we must be ready to talk and do good things to others so that the others who do not believe can see our actions, can see our deeds, can see whatever we do, and then they will believe in Jesus Christ. Therefore, as we go on about our business at home, at school, or wherever we are, let us be ready to live as true Christian witnesses. 
Have a good time. We are going to meet uh, during the next lesson. Thank you very much.